Why does this gimbal has AI in it? Well, if you've been living under a rock, AI is quickly becoming part of almost everything. Ads, movies, and now even gimbals. But how does that work? And most importantly, why should you care? For those paying attention, there's an opportunity here to make a little money using this gimbal that's not very expensive. Let me break it down to you in this video. Hi, my name is Evans B and I'm a sports photographer. As you already know, electronic gimbals are already a well-established piece of gear and most motion shooters already own one. Gimbals like, for example, the very popular DJI Ronin provide amazing stabilization, especially for action-packed shots. But here's a the catch. They don't have much intelligence behind them. Since they can't communicate really effectively with your camera, now an example, let's imagine DJI having to program the gimbals to fit with Panasonic, with Canon, with Nikon, with Sony, that will be an engineering nightmare, in my opinion, right? Sure, there are high-end LiDAR-based gimbals that offer tracking and auto-focusing, etc., but they are quite expensive and a lot bulkier than we, you need, really need to if ever you're a small creator or just a simply mobile production. And now here's a new player in the next-gen gimbal game, the Xbot Go. What makes this gimbal different? Well, it taps into the power of something we most of us carry around every day. Your smartphone. Now, before receiving the unit, I never heard about Xbot or the company uh, that produced it. So I want to thank them for sending out to me. And again, I wasn't paid for that review, except for getting the gimbal and review, reviewing it. I'm getting nothing out of this. So if you enjoy it, the link's below for you to use to get a discount on the product. So who is this gimbal for? We'll dive into the three features I find the most interesting using the AI component, and you can decide which one works best for you. First up, let's talk about the device itself. The Xbot Go is built specifically for mobile phones. In my case, I'm using it with a Samsung S24 Plus as my current daily driver. The cool thing about this is gimbal is pretty flexible or agnostic meaning it'll work with any phone that fits within the size that you currently see on screen. The other good thing is if you just want to use this as a classic gimbal, you don't even need an app to do it. Essentially, you can use the Xbox Go as a classic gimbal, and yes, we're going to test that. And now for the tech specs, the Xbox Go charges with a USB-C, powering a three to four hour battery life. The Xbox gimbal is packed with a few handy buttons around the gimbal to help you control your phone without actually having to touch it every single time since it's probably mounted on the clamp. For instance, on the right side, there's a zoom button, and on the back, there's a trigger button, basically like a PS5 controller, helping you trigger a button to start recording or taking a photo. And everything connects via Bluetooth for a smooth operation. You can easily switch between landscape and portrait mode with just a quick press of the power button, and to reset its position, you simply have to press the M button. Now, the gimbal kit I got from Xbot came with a little handy remote. This allows you to basically control the device remotely if ever you're not close to it or you don't have physical access to it without having to actually touch it. So this is super useful for live stream or situations where the machine is dangled somewhere. You want to change something, but you not necessarily want to actually touch it. So you can press this little button or also if ever you want to control the live stream or basically your position, simply have to use this button to change your position. That's something we'll dive into a little later. And if you're not a fan of using a controller like this one, and you happen to have an Apple Watch, well, you're in luck. Xbot advertises that you can actually set it up to use your Apple Watch to control the gimbal via Bluetooth, which is pretty cool. Since I got rid of my phone and it's not a feature that I can test, I'm gonna call this a trust me bro moment. So now upon testing, the phone clamp feels secure, but to really see how well it performs, let's take it out for a quick test run. All right, so this is me running on grass. Just ate something interesting. And again, the grass is not stabilized, but I get hoping this is, again, this is a shot on the Samsung S24. Plus, I'm gonna flip around in a second so you can actually see the quality. There you go. Yep. Oh. Bright and sunny today. A beautiful day. Again, front facing camera, no stay on. It's just me running in the park. Like a man, man. So, this gimbal works into two main ways. One is a classic gimbal, as I already spoke about, 
and the other works by tapping into AI. Let's talk about the AI portion. So again, you saw the running portion, but I also had another project that required me to do some simple gimbal work. So instead of taking out my big gimbal, I decided to use the power of my sweet Samsung S24 Plus, what a long word, and unlock its 4K capabilities. And on screen right now, you've been seeing the test footage that I got graded and finalized for the project. Now the AI capabilities come from using the app and this is where Xbox Go really shines with all of its features. It takes the gimbal from just being a stabilizer to something much more powerful. The first method turns the gimbal into a tracker. So let's say an example, as you can see on screen, you're a live streamer, you're in your kitchen, and you're whipping up some tasty dishes for your audience. The gimbal can actually follow you around as if you have a big enough kitchen to track you during your meal prep, tracking every single step that you take. Now, if you're a sports photographer and you're looking into adding some more features to your game, this is where it comes really handy. Using the Xbox Go app, you can actually track people or players, making it super easy to get you extra footage of X players. For example, you have two options. To help the machine track, or basically to help the app track, you can actually do a simple salute to the camera, and the Xbox Go app will do its best to track the athlete on the field. Or you can actually snap, snap a picture using the app of the player's jersey, and with their number, the app will lock into them and basically look at the, the actual game and try to basically try to follow them using the gimbal. This is one of the many ways you can tap into the AI features or you can actually basically let the AI decide what it wants to track. So if it tracks a ball or if it tracks a player or basically follows the game left and right. I tested the live stream feature on Facebook and it worked well enough and smoothly for the most part, although I did have one crash. The tracking did not go as smoothly as I wanted to. So I had to rely on the controller, which is really useful to have if ever you are a live streamer and you move around your studio a lot. So with that information given, who is this for? Well, if you're a sports photographer, it pretty much is a game changer. An example, adding the live stream capabilities to your services opens up a really new revenue of opportunities for you to make extra cash by being in the same place. It's also great for coaches and athletes who want to track their performance uh, during a practice or an actual game. On top of it, if you're a fellow creator like me who basically don't do sports, but you are in a studio or in your own set, if you need a behind the scenes content that basically follows you around, but you don't want to hire extra help or you don't want someone to basically be just a cinematographer from it, the Xbox Go is fantastic. But the salute function, you basically have to salute and then the app will follow you around as what you're doing on set. It's a perfect thing that if you don't want to hire someone else or uh, if you work alone or you don't have any friends, like my case. Battery life is another concern for some. I know three or four hours may seem short for a gimbal, it's not bad, but if ever you want to be absolutely secure, I did reach out to the company Blink Tech and find out that you can actually charge the batteries while using the gimbal. So it's a big relief if ever you really worried about battery life using gimbal. So that's the good stuff about Xbox Go, but there's no product is perfect. So here are a few areas of improvement that I'd like to see in the next generation or by a simple app update. I do wish the remote control had better functionality. Switching modes isn't terrible, but if your camera isn't already set up to the mode that you want to, the remote cannot force the app into record mode or even force the camera. I would love to see that just by pressing a button, you can actually go into your native camera and start recording. Maybe it's gonna come later or maybe not. I like to see this. Also, the sending process for the cloud features is a little confusing. After five minutes of poking around, I give up on the app using Facebook instead. It's also unsecured as the email address pops up in the feed, so be aware if you ever you're really sensitive about privacy. Since the gimbal uses a clamp versus using a plate, and you don't have access to the full orientation of the gimbal when in landscape or even in portrait mode. This is because there's limitations on how the button works and there are basically stops preventing you from going full tilt. That could be easily fixed uh, using a plate or in a cage plus a one quarter screw thread, but that would probably increase the cost as you would be required to get now a cage for your phone and pass the bill into the consumer, which is not mostly ideal. But again, maybe a version two that you can actually remove this and use a plate that would be amazing as it would unlock more pro features. And speaking about pro features, if we compare this gimbal to the competition, I do wish that we had more pro features in their app. Let me explain. Right now, this gimbal is dedicated mostly to sports features such as uh, basketball, tennis, hockey, etc. etc. 
there's so much more that can be done with this app and also can be done with this gimbal for example the Xeon or Xeon I'm 100% sure not to pronounce this has a lot more pro settings like zebra false colors etc perhaps we will see that later in an app but for now we'll live with the classic pro features from our phone now how do we profit from this i hinted it through the video but on top of helping coaches recording without the additional need of staff or any misky assistant or athletes trying to record their performance doing what they do best during practice or during a game and let's let's not forget content creators getting cool footage of what they do best without the need of any additional help i think that the one that we can mostly benefit from it are sports photographers of course with the simple act of getting a mobile phone with some data and a tripod you can make this a potential revenue machine by simply adding an example or charging an extra 500 bucks to a client and offering them the live stream capabilities from your phone to your hockey tournament let's say you don't need any other cinematographer and this is assistant let's say if you want to keep a close eye on it can actually monitor the entire thing without any effort so if you had a gimbal like the xbox go what would you do with it what else would you create with this or maybe a feature that I haven't spoke about this video yet? Again, this has been Evans B. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.